uh, hello everybody first of all thank you for coming here and watching this video this is the first kind of technical video on this channel and i was preparing this document since the morning and i was working on it so i'm going to tell you how to install and configure the open vas for those people who know what is open vas that is good but for those who doesn't know so open vas is that open source vulnerability scanner it is handled by the green bond security and from 2009 onwards it is development and all the things are done by the open source community so here it is very good open source vulnerability scanner you can use and so I, this this ubuntu machine i created newly so i need to update it first In the videos uh, in the meanwhile of the video i will tell you how the things are going on what is the open where so why we what are the advantages of open where so let's begin it's very good open source vulnerability scanner you can use it from anywhere it is having very good gui so i will install here the repository for the, because ubuntu uh, by default doesn't have that repository so we need to install it yes i have found these commands from several of you know articles from the internet collected all those prepared one document in i, I will upload this document to my blog i will give the link down the video so you can easily access those commands you can easily practice that open mess and try to find out the vulnerabilities in your host okay now add the repository I was trying to record this audio and the video is in the afternoon but the background noise was like hell I cannot make the video in the afternoon now it is good keep quiet so uh, why I am installing the SQLite SQLite is having uh, the vulnerabilities the database they are using this is a common vulnerability exposure CVE so it need to be synced from your computer when the vulnerabilities and that when something database is in your computer something needs to be holded so this database will help those vulnerabilities to keep into your system so we'll install the SQLite database here uh, the open was like uh, uh, it will match all the vulnerabilities that will found like from where it's something needs to be done like something needs to be there in the base that will help to match so this is the one and that SQLite database will keep those database for you Yeah, that that you know seeing that NVT thing that is very very important in that open vas I will, I will explain what is it and I will upload document also for that so you can read it out so unpacking all the files okay it, it can take some time you know the installation process I'm not skipping or fast forwarding video because not everybody is experienced on these things you some someone is very new they need to watch what is going on what is what are the mistake they can do and at the, last, <coughs> at the last i will tell what is the biggest mistake i have done when i was trying to do the open was first time so i have given the solution also for that 
uh, I found that solution like no nowhere we need to understand our own mistake and we need to correct it so I will give you the solution for that okay it's done now I will install the fonts what are the recommended fonts you can see the windows is not activated I'm not going to get the money for that <laughs> Yeah, we. I'm just using the Windows or because it is having GUI and for videos and editing kind of work, it is used for. Otherwise, Linux is like everything. Okay, fonts are stalling. Meanwhile, the video get refreshed. Mm, it is for checking the certificate it is uh, for checking the open mesh setup we can skip those commands I will directly install the open mesh here from here so I'll just install the open mesh no, 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 first of all we need to update because we have updated the repository So we will update so everything will be here updated because sometimes it gives here error that open was not found and we will install the open 9 it is the latest stable version available in open was so just install open was We, we can use these commands and make the script automated script so it will like within a click we can install and configure all those files but for the explaining for the understanding what is happening around what we are installing what we're doing we need to separately do this each and every command so here is us they are asking for the configurations file open was gonna radio the database and you agree otherwise we will manually okay okay i agree yes and that longer time it will take when we, we will install the nvt and the certificate data because the nvt is like uh, yeah, you can read it on the see NVD feed allows you to install an access test for the current vulnerabilities exposure. What are the current vulnerabilities exposure? It will sync. This is how it knows that this is the vulnerability. It will match from here. It need to be synced from your system. So they will sync. It will be in your system uh, when when you will scan anything. So it will match from here. This is the work it does so just update it will take everything whatever i've done okay Now I will sing the C N V T data. So I have used sudo everywhere because if you don't have the root credential or you're not using you don't want to use the root. Uh, so I'm using root here in my Ubuntu. Uh, so with the sudo you can ex you can have the root access and you you for creating the script you won't have any like restriction there or asking please enter the admin password so use sudo for your scripts it will work smoothly so uh, this will take some time to install you can if you if you want you can fast forward the video but i will record everything
yeah then it is taking vulnerability since 2009 2010 11 I guess since uh, till 2019 it will sync all the vulnerabilities database so it can easily find out what is that vulnerability since latest vulnerabilities everything whatever IP address you will give it will scan it and it is having very good vulnerability management also you can generate the report you can you can investigate from your report you can pass the vulnerability with that Two thousand thirteen, two thousand fourteen, Fedora, Java, Mozilla, everything is there. You can see if you watch it carefully, everything is being synced. Lots of vulnerability, lots of. I guess more than around around fifty thousand of vulnerabilities are being seen. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, twenty-thirteen, twenty-fourteen, Seventeen, eighteen, Microsoft Vulnerabilities Fedora. Opens with say 19. See, uh, it is seen till the 19. Still going on. Whoa, lots of. No, it is. Now we will sync this one also, this gap data. The current automation protocol, security content automation protocol, and then the computer emergency readiness team, and the vulnerabilities data to a local database. Synchronization takes several time, and you can monitor each and every process and output. So we'll sync that database. I have been using this OpenVest in my cloud machine and uh, you can use it with the minimal configuration like uh, it was having uh, I guess 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of memory in cloud Ubuntu machine I have set up that OpenVest and uh, I have taken the public IP address and I used to scan from anywhere like whenever I need to scan something I need to find the vulnerabilities in some most I used to use it from any browser with the public address and uh, we can give the admin and like username and password there we can change it it's very good really by using this service you agree to our terms and conditions only one sync per time otherwise source IP will be temporary block so one thing per time only so this is really gonna take some time I will record everything so after after this video I'm, tr I'm thinking to make a video on uh, OWS EC and for the system monitoring and I will I will try to upload videos on every weekend like minimum one video on a weekend and with that video I will be uploading the document so you can read it out and find the commands very easily so open was like for monitoring purpose each and everything in your system it is also open source so 
very good for the learning purpose when you are new to the security very new want to know something want to get your hands on these are very good tools to learn you can you can have some exposure with that Two thousand two, three, four, five, six. I guess I guess it will take a lot of lots of and longer time. Okay, so meanwhile this is being downloaded. I will tell you why should we use that open map? First of all, main benefit of it, it is open source. You will not pay anything for that. Second thing, it can be configured anywhere. After that, you can use it from anywhere. And the fourth very good thing, it is easy to access, very easy. You can set up the admin and password when the machine is on it, it will already running and when you are new to security so you need to understand the like what is the mistake and what is the con mistake in configuration on your system on any application so with with the report of that open vas you can monitor each and everything once i was using the open vas and i found the default admin and password with that so it can sometime can the passwords also you can directly have access on that so making this video just for learning purpose <laughs> this climbers Uh, when when you are new to the security you need to understand network very deeply like you need to have very good knowledge of networking then operating system and linux so that you can have hands on on the tool you can understand the behavior of the system all these things are important and lots of tool are there and uh, the Kali Linux, Kali Linux also plenty of tools in that operating system you can use lots of videos on YouTube so I thought I should make the video whatever I am learning whatever I'm doing so maybe some people get knowledge with that so here is 2007 to dominate it was into 2019 need to wait and watch and if you if you don't want to wait and watch just fast forward the video nine this video going to be long really I did not think that will be that much long but it's going to be anyway so uh, one more thing in my blog um, there are basic networking thing like from IPv4 or 
and OSI model and how the networking is done basic basic things are there you can access the, that blog and the link will be given down on the video please go through it if you want to know and if you want to learn something and this video is surely gonna help the students I guess who want to know about these things and the about the machine I, I really like the Ubuntu because with the Ubuntu open source you can find plenty of configuration and things and written online you can easily get everything so I, I personally like Ubuntu so most of the tutorial will be based on Ubuntu I guess and some in some tutorials I will be using Kali Linux and when we need to install and configure the thing uh, in the enterprise in the like industries we don't have Linux every time so sometimes we need to work on the cloud environment in that we use like Red Hat and Ubuntu these kind of things so installation and configurations are very important there if we don't have the kind of operating system who is having everything so we need to manually install it so this is why I created this document you can use this command and easily create the script automated script there and within a click it will be all installed and configured still going on I'm getting bored on the video <laughs> maybe you will be also because seeing this thing being downloaded we need to go to 73 we are on 52 I really work work on an environment where no GUI is available, only CLI. So I need to use commands only. So even if I want to install a configure a new tool, I just just use commands and read the blogs online. It helps to get get like very good things on the Linux when when you know don't don't need the GUI just don't use it because GUI is bit heavy when you are working on IT environment so whatever you can remove it will be beneficial for you things should be lightweighted so they use their minimal version of each operating system if that doesn't require GUI they won't use so for the CLI version also these commands will work these commands are for that only <laughs> this is also the CLI you won't don't use the GUI when you don't need it will just use your memory few more commands to for the certificate database then to start scanner in the manager and update process after the update again what happened here I guess my machine stopped working it stopped here why I don't know maybe load 
I give it 2 GB of RAM. Or this is the load of the download. I don't know. Just wait if it can be refreshed. Wait for a few minutes. Yeah, it's working again. Sorry for that. I didn't do that. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's working again. We are on the 2011. We were here. Some rebuild process. And they check the setup. And again start. Then with your IP address. Okay, one more thing. When when you are having public IP, like it is the virtual machine here. And if I use my internal like Windows operating systems uh, browser, so I need to have the connection with that. So public IP address is something it is available everywhere. So when you are using an IP address which is which is private, so you can use that in your the private browser only. Like here I'm using the HTTPS and that port with the public address. So some when the network is private, so inside browser and the internal browser of that machine and that internal network will be your internal IP address So I know most of the people, like many people know how, how to install and configure. But I am creating the video for those who, who is not aware of these things, who doesn't know how to do it, or finding like difficulties. So if you know it, it's very good. You can you can like go with the work. You can do it. But people who doesn't know, they they can use it. It is useful that for them Still we are on 2013, 6 more years.
it's really long I, I am getting bored here but I cannot open anything because it's going to be on I guess even my computer is getting bored. Hmm. It's taking really long time. The last time I, I was working on the open OpenVS, I made the automated script and left the computer for one hour, I guess. I went to, I went to the lunch. I was in my office. <laughs> then I came back and it was installed. It, it really take, takes time when it is syncing all the database everything inside your computer and it need because it needs to be matched you know when it finds something some base will be there to match it and then it will tell you right then it is a vulnerability so for all these purposes it will install everything Two thousand sixteen. Oh my god. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. Excuse me. No, I'm not going. I'm just setting up my laptop. Yeah, one more thing. I was thinking to learn the Python. You know, I, I know the basic things, but for going to program for making the script kind of things, we need to learn more and more Python. So I will start learning Python soon and I will create videos of that and I will upload on the channel also. So you can have the basic knowledge of the Python or what new to the Python you will be getting. 
manifest the channel. We are on 2017 now. Oh my god, my machine is going to sleep. No, it's not gonna happen. I won't let you sleep. You need to show everything. People are watching you. Oh my god. I forgot my password. Oh. The closer it is getting, the slower it is going. I guess I have crossed more than 30 minutes. Maybe. Or people will not my watch my video because it's longer, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, whoever will watch will get some benefit with that. It is taking longer. What can I do with that?
NVDC VE 2.0 2017 XML Rear 2018 then after that 19 should should I take this up I'm not No, let me hear. I'm, I'm recording all this. Don't want to spoil it. Ninety-three. Uh, please go to the hundred directly. We are on the 18 now.
<laughs> I don't have anything to say about that. Just my computer tries to be sleep. Actually trying to find out where is my recorder. Here it is. Lastly I was recording with the Windows by default game recorder and it is really sick since the afternoon I was working on it and when I used to record more than four or five minutes my machine used to get hang with that and lots of tabs were open I don't know what was the the thing to do like that, that the problem with the recorder or something else but uh, after closing that recorder everything was working fine so I left the recorder found something else online and doing this video Nine percent. Okay, we are on 2019. Oh my god, shit. It will download the official CPE dictionary and many more files, I guess. I didn't know about that. I hope it will finish faster. Maybe I will cut down those part. It's getting more annoying. I guess it will go till yeah, 273, 173. Like it will be one year and 73 year.
O-L-O-R-G I don't know what is that from 27 and directly jump to 18 17 14 13 it's going faster Again, slow. I hate that. I guess more than one hour every 12 day. I don't know. Okay, on number four. No, 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 no.
on number two and it is the last one I guess Windows dot XML. Okay, this much, this much received. Total size this much. Speeding up is 1.00. I even forgot which command I, I ran the last time. So and you guys can see this is the real time it is going to take to set up OpenVAS really. Let's see my record is working or not. Why it's not coming up? Yeah, see the recording time is 1 hour 2 minutes, say 27 seconds. It's, it's long time man.
And so I will pause the video for for a second while well, it's, it's it's getting done. Okay, so I am back here, and this thing took literally more than thirty minutes. And uh, yeah, the synchronization is complete. Now we will. I don't even remember which command I ran. Scap data. Okay. Oh no, the sir data is rest. I guess it won't take longer. Just have a look. Sudo banana. Sync sudo. Okay, this command is not found. This is wrong, I guess. What, what command is the green one? Covered the wrong command, sorry. First of all, create the screen. No. Yeah, it will be faster. Yeah, can you hear that noise in the background? Dogs? Yeah, because it is 1.57 a.m. Yeah, it's night and I'm walking on the video. That's okay. If that works all the fine, everything is okay. I don't know it's gonna work or not. I'll just I'll just see. I don't even have the time for the editing. I I think I will upload the raw video. Anyway, he was gonna learn it. He will learn. Yeah, as I thought, it is the faster process. Okay, send 1005 received 56, 84, 60, 61 bytes, speed of 1.0, I guess, it will again take to the further step, I don't remember what was that, let's see. Yeah, so it is done here. I will try to start the open vest scanner. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. 
this thing to be here. Okay. No, very till now. Okay, now update the process. This editor is I hate it. I just hate it. I'll update the process. Uh, I don't remember the result of it. Okay. Need to rebuild the process. Okay, so uh, I'm seeing this since more than five minutes. It's stuck here. So I will just end this process. Okay, now I will try to rebuild the process because the update command did not work here. I don't know why. So it is the rebuilding the NVT cache. You remember the NVT database that it syncs for the matching kind of vulnerabilities. And after that, we'll check the setup if everything is working fine. Okay, so in few minutes the rebuilding of NVT gas is done. So we will just check if the setup is okay. Command not found okay. because we are already on the sudo. So I guess we do it from here to work. No file or directory. I don't know what the problem here. But in my cloud machine, it was working fine. Okay, let's start. See if that works. Yeah. Start the manager. Okay, now in my IP address. It's 192.168.1.9. Port number is 4000. Slow system. And the port number. Nine 
That should work, bro. Peach problem. Unable to connect. Okay. I guess I have added one extra zero. Yeah. Yeah, because we are not having the HTTPS certificate, so it will show the connection. We need to confirm the security exception. Okay, it's working. By default, username, admin, and admin. It is connecting. That should work. Oh my god, it's open. See, this is the dashboard. 48,892 vulnerabilities are synced. So now you got why it took so much time total CVs and this is a very good dashboard you can scan start the scan here go to the task okay okay scan dashboard yeah whatever you will scan it will show a result graphic manner okay these are the scans you want simply select the wizard icon okay we need to select the wizard icon this icon yeah from here we can give the IP address yeah, this is my local host IP address and we can start scan like that. We can give any IP address here. Yeah, so it is requested and immediate scan will start. It will start loading the data. So when it will be completed, the status here will be completed and it will generate one report and all and everything you can see here and yeah what one thing I was talking about was just make that document big yeah so after the log when I was using this on my cloud machine I faced one issue uh, you can see here is the command for changing the admin and the password you can just copy it and change your default admin and password some more POC this is the POC I have done so in, when I was using the cloud machine uh, I, I need to go to here etc default and open as GSA and that was that that you know that seeing that has shine it means in that configuration file it was not allowed so I allowed one header host and yeah here my public IP address so when I was using the public machine uh, I was not able to access that dashboard my uh, that cloud thing uh, in the cloud machine my tool was running but I was not able to access so in allow header host I was needing to give the uh, my public IP address here so after that it was working so this was the all and I have tell you that how to work in the open vast and I guess each and every small detail I have sent I have tell you mm, that's it for like yeah this document is sick just cross it damn slow man I'm sorry and next time I will try to configure more more better system yeah so this thing that scan is going on the status in one person you can see I will I'm drawn that.
see uh, the one percent uh, after the completing hundred percent it will generate report and based on that report you can you can fix the bugs and anything like for the practice you can uh, configure the buggy web app or d web on your host computer and take that ip and scan this you no know, then in this, then you know see the report what is what is the thing there and um, that's it for today i guess it's enough more than like see one 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 hour and 18 minutes of recording but it took literally two hours i paused the video sometime for when it was uh, doing things so more than two hours it will take so do configure it if you have any doubt about the tool and uh, this video i will share the document below the blog document you can refer that you can ask in comment section and thank you very much for watching this longer thanks very much really goodbye